Hi, I'm Jay LaTulip, co-director of Let's Play Music. Welcome to our piano lesson program at Let's Play Music. I'm gonna be your practice guide this week. We're gonna start off on page six with Let's Get Started. All right, we're gonna put our five fingers out, one, two, three, four, five. We're only gonna use our second and our third fingers and position them like it says in the book. Here we go. Six, track two. Let's get started, slower version. Great job, let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. One more time. All right, let's move on to page seven, jamming. We're gonna use two, three, and four in each hand on the three black notes. Get your hand in position, and um, we're gonna use the slower version. Page seven, track four, jamming, slower version. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. And one more time. We're gonna move on to the next page, page eight, and this is where you're gonna make up your own melody and you can play anything you want on the black notes, but remember that what you're gonna do is you're gonna do one note at a time. And don't play more than one and try to make it as musical as you can. Here we go. Page eight, track seven. 
improvisation. So on that one, I played along there with you, but I'm gonna have you play by yourself this time and just make up whatever you want to, to make up. There are no wrong notes here. You know, if, just keep trying it and playing it until you start getting a feel for what the notes sound like and what sounds good to you. You can even do it without the recording and just sit down on the keys and just make up your own melody. All right, I'm gonna play it one more time and you're, you're on your own on this one. All right, we're gonna move on to page nine, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Now this one has a little bit of a different position, four, three, two in the left hand, and just your second finger in the right hand. Look at the picture on the, in the book, and it's gonna show you where to place your hands. All right, let's do it. Page nine, track eight, Mary Had a Little Lamb, slower version. Four. All right. All right, let's do it again. Ready, go. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Great, now we're gonna do one more thing in this practice session, and we're gonna play something out of the rock band method. We're gonna play the beginning riff for Louie Louie. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first finger, our fourth finger, and our fifth finger. We're gonna line them up, starting on the C note, and you're gonna check with your teacher on how to do that, and you can also follow the video. But I've got my hands in place, and my thumb is on the, on the C. We're gonna play it three times. All right, so let, go ahead and practice that with me. One, two, ready, go. All right, let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. And one more time. One, two, ready, go. Now we're gonna move our fourth finger to the F. And the F we're gonna play twice. We're gonna go. All right, let's play it together. One, two, ready, go. All 
All right, and one, two, ready, go. All right, now let's put those two together. We're gonna do three notes with C, two notes with F. Here we go, one, two, ready, go. Okay, so that's C, 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 F, F. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. All right, let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. All right, now the next part is we're gonna play three notes with your pinky on G. Here we go. G, G, G. All right, so let's do it. Ready, go. And again, ready, go. And the final part is two notes on F again. All right, so we're gonna try that together. Ready, go. Now we're gonna put the whole thing together. I'm gonna go slow on this. Okay, I'm gonna play it. Okay, so play it with me. Ready, go. Okay, let's play it again. One, two, ready, go. And again, one, two, ready, go. All right, so in order to hear what that's gonna sound like, you can find the audio tracks that are at the beginning of that rock band book, and you can go to that link and you can hear Louie Louie. You did a great job today. If there's anything else that your teacher wanted you to work on, maybe a theory page or any other songs that you practiced in your lesson, now's the time to do it. And thanks for working with me today.